Hello, customers. In this video, I will show you how to schedule shifts and jobs to open time clock. First, of course, you need to log into your account. Then, since we are going to schedule a shift, you just need to go ahead and click on the Shift Schedule tab. So the function of scheduling shifts in Open Time Clock is to streamline assigning work hours to employees and ensure proper time tracking. It allows managers or administrators to create and organize shifts for employees based on their availability, job roles, and business needs. This feature helps to optimize workforce management by ensuring that employees are assigned to shifts that align with the company's operational requirements. Scheduling shifts also provides a clear overview of employee work schedules, reducing scheduling conflicts and ensuring that staffing levels are met. As you can see on this screen, it is very organized. Additionally, Open Time Clock integrates shift scheduling with time tracking, so employees can clock in and out according to their assigned shifts, and managers can easily monitor hours worked, making payroll and attendance management more efficient. To schedule a shift for employees, you just need to click on this green button here, the Add Schedule. So as you can see, you have an option to filter here, all departments or a specific department if your company has different departments. Since in this sample account or a demo account, we do not have different departments, then we will stick to all departments. You also have here an option to filter different shifts. So let's start with a sample shift. Let's schedule employees for this sample shift. So let's say this sample employees belong to this sample shift. Then we are going to schedule these three people or these three employees here. So let's just filter the date range. Let's say, for example, from Monday to Friday. Then what are the dates that will apply? So let's say their duties or their schedule for the sample shifts are for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then we just need to select this date or the day and then click on Add. As you can see it clearly shows that these three employees belong to this schedule. November 18th, 20, and 22. They have shifts, or we schedule them for that specific shift. So let's try another one. Let's say these two employees will be on their sample shift 2 on the same date, but they have a different day. So let's say Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, then we just need to click on Add. As you can see, it clearly shows that these two employees will have their shift schedule on November 19th and November 21st. If you had mistakes in setting this up, you just need to delete it. You just need to click on this one and you have an option to change it here or delete this one. After that, you just need to click on Save. There. So we also have here a lot of features that I can discuss. For this one, you have an option to, of course, filter the view, or you have an option to view it by filtering all departments. All employees or specific employees. Let's say this one or a specific shift, let's say this one, or all shifts.
You also have here an option to view it by list, or you are going to see it in list view, calendar view, and by total of hours. And here, you just need to use this if you want to filter specific dates to view their shift schedule. As you can see, it has here an indication for a schedule which means the color blue. It has an indication of paid time off or PTO if it is color light yellow or orange. And as you can see here, you will also be able to see the months and the year. You have an option to view it by months, weeks, days, or by list. And then if you have an Excel file or if you want to import schedules from Excel, you just need to of course first download this Excel template file before you upload or before you import these Excel schedules from Excel. And then of course, if you want to have a switch shift, like for example, an employee wants to switch their shift, then they just need to click on, you just need to click on switch shift. Then let's say, for example, Alfin will switch shifts with Charina. Then you just need to select on the specific date. So, for example, if you want to switch shifts, Alfin wants to switch shifts with Charina, then she just needs to click on the specific dates, the specific shift, and then just click on switch. Then as you can see, it will switch to their schedules. You can also email this schedule to your employees. So since there are employees here that do not have an email here, let's try for this one. And then you have an option to also email to, you can just select or input the other emails here. But if you just want the employees to receive it, you just need to click on the specific employee here. And then you can just click on send now. Then you will automatically email the schedule to this specific employee that we choose. All right. So that's how we schedule a shift for our employees in Open Time Clock. Now let's move on to Job Schedule. It has the same function as scheduling the shifts. So the function of scheduling jobs in open time clock is to allocate specific tasks or job types to employees during their assigned shifts, allowing businesses to track both the time work and the nature of work being performed. So by scheduling jobs, managers can ensure that employees are assigned to the correct task based on their skills, qualifications, or project requirements. Also, this feature enhances job costing and reporting, as it enables businesses to track which employees work on which jobs, how much time has been spent on each task, and any associated costs or billings. So in this page, it has the same functions as what we have in Shift Schedule, but here you only have the option to click on List View or View It by List and by Calendar View and you can also email the job schedule to your employees and to add. Job Schedule Just click on Add Job Schedule Select the specific employees Select a specific job Select the date range Select the date And then you have an option to click or add notes here and then click on Add. So you can see it has the same function as shift schedule. So that's how you schedule shifts and jobs to open the time clock. Thank you.